G'day Venture Pilots, today we're going to look at Swedish turnip bombing technique. This is a low level anti-shipping technique attributed to Martin Harlinghausen of the Luftwaffe and this technique is performed using either level bomb release or by using a toss bomb technique. And the specifics are going to change depending on your airspeed and altitude, we're going to have a look at some now. So in the level bomb release, your altitude is going to be between 20 and 30 meters, the airspeed will be 400 to 500 kilometers per hour and your release distance from the target is going to be between 3 and 500 meters. So we'll have a look at this technique first and then we'll look at the toss bombing technique afterwards. So for a low level Swedish turnip technique, this is essentially just flying along nice and low. Got a target out there at right one o'clock we're going to line up on. Now we're already at relatively low altitude. So as we just get down to about 20 to 30 meters above the ground, we'll see in this case, we're going to start increasing the power because we want to reach between 400 and 500 kilometers per hour when we release the bomb. As we start making our way down to that altitude of about 20 to 30 meters, uh, we are going to get shot at. So it's important that you just jink a little bit, because um, if you fly straight, then the gunners and the AI are going to get a very easy beat on you. The good thing is, though, they don't have to do anything too crazy in your maneuvering. Just a little bit here and there will help you avoid any gunfly coming right at you. So try and get our right altitude, come up on 500 meters, we just pause, release the bomb. And get back to jinking and just extending past the ship. And we can see we scored a nice hit to destroy it. Now ideally, when you release the bomb, it should make a nice trajectory and hit the side of the ship directly. Um, but sometimes it will fall a little bit short and that's okay. And what's going to happen in that case is just going to skip off the water and then it will hit it to the side of the ship. Now you're not just limited to using a fighter aircraft for this. You can use something like a Heinkel Triple One if you wanted. Um, however, in that case, you're going to be flying at about 300 kilometers per hour, and that's going to require you to release about 240 meters away from the target. So, it puts a little bit more risk of getting hit if you do do that, though. Now, in a toss bomb release, you're going to initiate a high-speed dive from about 1500 meters and finishing at around 50 meters, and then your airspeed is going to be between 650 and 750 kilometers per hour. And as you come up to about 1000 meters from the target, you're going to pull up. And then on the count of one, you release the bomb. So essentially you're tossing the bomb with an angle pointing upwards that will increase its total flight time and distance. This way you can attack a target from further away and reduce your risk to any aircraft fire. Alright, so back in the 190, we're up at about 1500 meters and we have the ships off to our left 9 o'clock. So we'll pull towards them, initiate our dive keeping the power up because you want to get our airspeed to between 650 and 750 kilometers per hour. Now the trick with this is to just keep it nice and smooth so you don't have to initiate a really high angle dive to achieve the speeds you want. You can just keep it nice and shallow. Just make sure that you can finish with enough distance that will allow you to um, level off nice and smooth and keep yourself on the target with enough time to line up on it correctly. So just holding your altitude coming up on the target 1000 meters, bring the nose up, release the bomb, and then you can continue climbing, we'll just fly to the top, and I just want to turn so I can see the target a bit better, and we can see we scored the hit. So the hardest part on this technique is going to be judging when you're about 1000 meters away to begin your pull up. So if you're attacking larger vessels, like destroyers or cargo ships, you're assuming the length is going to be about 100 meters. And the smaller vessels, you'll assume a length of about 50 meters. So to determine how many mils it takes up on the site at 1,000 meters, it will take the target length, divide it by the range you want, and then times that by 1,000. That'll tell you how many mils it takes up on the site. So in a Revy site, for example, it's 100 mils wide. So at 1,000 meter range, a larger vessel, which is 100 meters long, will take up 100 mils, and a smaller vessel will be 50 mils. Now, we're going to do the same thing, but this time on the 88. Now, the 88, you can take more bombs. Um, so I've got four 250s loaded externally. Now, my goal is to make one pass, and I'm going to release all the bombs at once. However, I'm going to add a delay. And the delay is actually going to give me a spread of where these bombs are going to hit. So as we initiate this dive, we bring up the power. We're trying to get our airspeed up to the, between that 650 and 750, or as close as possible to it. Try and keep our dive nice and smooth so that we can level off at our at 50 meters. Get the cross on the target briefly. We may have to jinx slightly. 
coming up on a thousand meters, we can bring the nose up, count to one and release the bombs. Use the excess airspeed, we can climb away or fly over the top and extend as fast as possible. I'm just unloading as I'm finishing up my climb here. As a level off, have a look back to our right. See if the ship is destroyed, we will have a look at the details of how those bombs actually hit now. By using the bomb interval feature, you can create that spread of where the bombs are going to hit. It's where you can guarantee yourself to destroy the target using this technique if you drop everything at once. The hardest part is going to be judging when to begin your pitch up. But at least by adding this time delay, you can create the spread of bombs that will increase your chances of destroying the target. And here we can see three bombs skipped and one is a direct hit. Now you can apply this technique to any airplane you want. It doesn't necessarily just have to be the ones I've shown you here. So give it a try and see if you can make it work. Until next time though, remember to fly safe and check your six.